thank you all for coming. I mean, this, is a, this is an amazing turnout. Uh, I think this is our biggest crowd yet. And uh, so give yourselves a hand for coming out. <laughs> Now let's have another hand for John at the bar. Yeah. Woo! Hopefully we got to know him a little bit over the break. And for my co-host Sarah. Woo! And for all the readers so far, all the readers yet to come. And I want to tell you about uh, briefly about next month's reading, which is going to be February 1st, the first Tuesday of February. It's a special reading called uh, uh, Tuesday Funk's New Year, New Voices. We're getting the new year a month to get rolling before we, <laughs> we do that. Uh, and we're going to have five great readers, some of whom are here tonight. Raise your hands. I don't know if you do or not, but... <laughs> Woo! Come back in four weeks. It's going to be awesome. Um, and if, you, if you're a regular at Tuesday Funk, you know this is the part of the program where I read a poem. And by regular, I mean if you've been coming since November. <laughs> um, do you remember... Last week when it, was, when, when it rained and it was so warm and all the snow melted and stuff, I was walking down Broadway and I saw something so disgusting right outside uh, you know, the, the Alderman State Representative's office that I had to, seriously, I had to take a picture and then go write a poem about it. And I don't know if you can see the, the picture here, but if it doesn't make sense to you, uh, hopefully, hopefully you'll have figured it out by the end of the poem. It's very short. This is called Under Their Skirts. The sidewalk trees drop their skirts of dirty snow for a silver-tongued winter rain, exposing a careless mulch of cigarette butts, not to mention the occasional dog turd and chicken bone. <laughs> Nothing better to do, trees, than eat shit and smoke. <laughs> As you wait at the curb to be picked up by spring. <laughs> Now it's my pleasure to introduce our next